Several printers available on the market today have so many bells and whistles, which require them to have an internet connection. But what if you just want to print and take away the risk of your printer being hacked? This is where using firewall rules on your router comes in handy. Without a firewall, anyone can potentially access your network. We're going to show you an example configuration using a Peplink router as its stateful firewall allows for both inbound and outbound rules. Outbound refers to any connections from our printer out to the internet. Inbound refers to any connections from the internet into our printer. Since we don't want any internet traffic associated with this printer, we're going to set both inbound and outbound rules to deny all connections to and from the printer. This still allows us to print while on the same network as the printer. For the Peplink routers, we've logged into the web administration page to access its settings. First, we're going to the status tab and client list on the left. To ensure our firewall rules stay valid, we need to set a DHCP reservation for the printer and note its address. Click on the tab icon to the right of the device, and then you can rename it if you want. Otherwise, click Save. Now we'll head to the Advanced tab. This is where we find the firewall access rules. Note that for some Peplink models, this will be found at the Network tab. The Outbound Rules section is up first. Click the Add Rule button and a window will pop up. Give the rule a name such as Block Printer. Set the source to IP address and enter the printer's DHCP address from earlier. Next, select Deny for the action. Lastly, click Save. Now we'll set up our inbound rule. Again, give the rule a name. This time, we'll leave the source at any and set the destination to IP address. Then we'll enter the printer IP address from earlier. Select Deny for the action, then click Save and apply changes at the top right. That completes our configuration. We can now safely print without worrying about something affecting the security of our printer. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.